Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. And today we're going to learn about compounded continuously. Before we tackle compound continuously, what is important about this? It's the E. What is E? E is the, uh, it's a mathematical constant. It's a very special number for math. It's been used in real life application for the growth, for some businesses, uh, some studies. Uh, why is it important, you know? E is 2.71828, that is uh, show a formula of uh, 1 plus 1 over n raised to the n. When you plug in a number here, uh, as n is a natural number, a, a number that's positive, you know, like a 2 or a 3 or 4, 100, 1 billion, all of them leads to the same number, which is the E, 2.71828. You can use your calculator and try to see how it works. But as long as you plug in any number here and there, uh, the answer will lead to 2.71828. And it's also like a pi. It's an irrational number that never stops. And up to now, it, it, the number keeps going, okay? It's also E is the base that we use for LN. LN is a natural logarithm, natural log it is uh mainly why is it e because it's a euler's number eulers they call it eulers or euler's number okay so and we use this also for uh the bank you know and when we invest a money and instead of the interest occur on a specific number of times in a year this continuously infinitely never stop uh occurring to your account Okay, so where can we find E? In your graphing calculator, you have to press second function first, which is uh, right here in the top left of your calculator, this one here, and then press the division symbol, and you will see an E. When you do that one, the value, then press enter, the 2.71828 will come out, you know. Uh, it's 2.718, that's why some people, they celebrate on February 7th. Um, that's another thing. If 3.14, the pi is March 14, February 7 is the day for the E. <coughs> so let's start by evaluating using the Euler's number or the E. Okay. So 2E, so I'm going to use my calculator. So uh, you can round off your answer in nearest uh, uh, hundreds or thousands. So 2 and then second division sign E. You see, my calculator is 5.436, tens, hundred thousands, okay? But there's a five there, so this would be seven here. 5.4365, five, so this would be seven. Uh, next, negative three. E is second division sign raised to the power of two. That will give me negative 22.167. And the last one here will be 50 e raised to the 0.12 50 um, second uh, 0.12. It's going to be 56.375. By the way, you can also find the e to the raised power in your calculator if you hit the second function, and it's the one with the ln here. The, this number, this button here beside the four. That will give you the E also. And see, there are so many ways to get the E here because it's really important for math, you know. Compounded continuously. The formula is A, you call it A part. A equals P E R T. A is the final amount. P is the principal or the initial value. E is your Euler's number, the E, raised to the power of R T. R is your rate in decimal, uh, decimal value, T is the time. Uh, so let's try this one now. Mary invests 7,665 in, in a retirement account with a fixed annual interest rate of 3.23% compounded continuously. What if will the account balance after 19 years? So we know that our principal, 
is 7,665. That's initial amount that Mayor invested. With a 3.23%, we know the 3.23% can be written in decimal by moving this decimal place two to the left, one, two. That makes it 0 0.0323. That's your R. Compounded continuously, so you know you're going to use the A part. And the T here is 19 years. And those are the things that we know. So using the A part, and we're looking here for the final amount. The initial is 7,665. E raised to the power of 0 0.0323 times 19. Okay. So using our calculator, 7665, uh, second LN or second question uh, division sign. Uh, then raise to the power point zero three two three times nineteen. That will give me fourteen thousand one hundred fifty nine dollars and twenty cents in nineteen years. Kaboom. Next. Joe invests 6,286 in a saving account with a fixed annual interest rate of 811%. Compounded continuously, what will the account balance be after five years? So the principal here is 6,286. The uh, rate, which is 8.11%, 8, can be moved to the same place to the left. The, so the rate now is 0 0.0811. Compounded continuously, so we're going to use airport, and the time is five years. So A equals P, E raised to the R, D. Uh, A is equal to principal is 6286. E rate is 0 0.0811 times 5. And using our calculator here, uh, 6286, second E raised to the 0 0.0811 times 5, that will give us A is equal to 9429.33 dollars in 5 years. And that's how you use compounded continuously or applying the Euler number, which is E. Again, what's the E? 2.71828. Kaboom.